because we know that all behavior is clustered around basic needs and function. Every time you see a form of behavior, kicking, biting, punching, spitting, withdrawing, cursing, uh, fussing, flailing, grunting, any behavior, and also some positive behavior, sharing, taking turns, waiting, um, giving a toy to another child, anything you see is all about functions and basic needs. There's three functions for all behaviors. A child or an adult is trying to get something, trying to avoid something, or trying to express something. And the express meaning an emotion. And typically, if you really get down to it, every behavior is probably all three at once. So let me give you an example. If you see um, a child going towards a center, crawling, walking, whatever they're doing, going towards a, a center, and they go to reach for the cup, and another child takes the cup, and they hit that child, what do you think the function of the hitting was? To get the toy. To get the toy? What else? We're just guessing. We don't know. We're guessing. What else? <coughs> yes? To get attention? To get attention. That's, I'm so glad you brought that up. Follow me with this. This is what attention is. You ready? to watch them. They want you to engage. And the reason I'm on about this, and if you've seen me for longer than a minute, I do that, because we get mad when kids want attention. Ah, he just does it for attention. I'm going to ignore him. They're not doing it for attention. They're doing it for some sort of engagement. So if a, a child goes over to get a cup, and another child takes it, and they hit the child, the engagement they want is, help me, Get that cup for me, or help me regulate my emotions. They don't want you to just come over and watch them, right? So you're not bad for saying that. Thank you for saying that, because that's our common language. So they want to maybe get an engagement. What might they be avoiding? Avoiding the other child using that toy. Avoiding sharing. Avoiding waiting. Avoiding not getting what I want when I want it. And then possibly expressing an emotion. How might you feel if you were really set on using something and your neighbor took it? Pissed. <laughs> Annoyed, frustrated, sad, fearful, worried. All behavior is connected to one or more functions. And your job is to determine what the function of the behavior is and teach the child a more appropriate way to get their function met. So you don't just sit back and go, oh, that's awesome, you smacked her in the head. That's amazing. You're so precious. <laughs> so you teach them what to do instead. And teaching doesn't say, that was horrible, you did that. You're bad, you hurt her. That's really horrible. That hurts people when you do that, and then you walk away. You just say, we need to share it. That's old school. That's the old school. Now you have the unique opportunity that you've got children that have only been on the planet zero to three years. So you, unlike preschool age, may sometimes say, ouch, hitting hurts, hitting hurts. You took the cup and you hit her, that hurts. Because they may never have done that before, first time they ever did it. Now if they've done it more than a couple times, you never need to say it again. They know. What they want to say to you is, dude, I know, but the impulse control center in my brain isn't fully developed, so I know you've taught me that already, but I'm unable to apply it in the moment. My doctor told me no sugar. No sugar, Laura. You have three autoimmune diseases. No sugar. At 50 years old, I eat sugar every day. <laughs> so if you think you need to keep telling kids the same thing over and over to get them to do it, you're making your job harder. 